So I'm going to do a bit of a property walk for you guys today, but I wanted to start here. Um, these are these fiberglass tubs I'm eventually going to get off my butt and build these wicking beds to go with that new aquaponics system for. But uh, it's been raining for five days. I just wanted to kind of show you where we're at here. Six inches of rain in five days. That's a pretty big rainfall event. And I want to take you over to the swales and show you what you would think would be full swales and show you that they're not. Tell you why they're not and tell you why that's actually a good thing and proves uh, how well this system's actually working. We'll be going down to the big swell in just a minute, but uh, all these little swells did their job. I came out here last night when it was pouring, and they were full. I mean, they don't hold very much, and they finally got enough rain to really fill, and they were discharging into the top swell. And you can see it's already just, things are different once it rains. It's already greened everything up. But uh, we put an awful lot of water down there in those swells, and I want to take you over and show you what they look like. Hey guys, Jack here. Um, I'm standing at the uh, far edge of uh, between the second and uh, first swale of my food forest. So right back over this way here is uh, the top swale and then right behind me, and I'm gonna give you a look at that in a minute, is the, uh, the mid swale, which is the big swale with the biggest catchment. The reason I'm doing this video today is to show you the importance of swales even when they look like they're maybe not doing very much. We just got six inches of rain over a five day period, and we have not had rain since May 30th here on my property. The general region has had a significant amount of rain. Uh, it's still a drought level, but they've had rainfall. We've had rain as close as just a few hundred yards uh, to our south and, and you know maybe three quarters of a mile to our north multiple times uh, in this situation. Uh, but we didn't get any here. And when we did get some here, it was not what you would call measurable rainfall. Maybe you'd come out at night and it's where, you know, you're trying to run around and get a drop of rain on you so you feel good. So, I mean, no real rain from May 30th until, uh, you know, the, the, into the, the second week of August. And that's the worst time of year to have no rain. And it's typical that we have, a you know, light rains uh, or, or very little rain during that time. It's not typical to have none and uh, usually we get some good thunderstorms or stuff like that. Plus we had a fairly dry spring once we got out of the uh, torrential floods. And that's uh, really been hard on our land this year. I'll show you some things that have happened. We've lost some trees. We have a lot of trees that didn't produce this year, but they're gonna survive, especially now with the rain we got. But what I really wanna show you is you've seen probably plenty of videos here where um, you know I've got these swales completely full and I walk through and it always looks really beautiful and it looks really cool. Uh, when we're in that situation and uh, I thought maybe I'd get to do that for you this morning no six inches over five days and uh, the mid swell which has the greatest amount of hard catchment that pushes off into it that means that that swell had to handle per inch of rainfall that swell handles about 14,000 gallons of water six times 14 yeah you think there'd be some water in it there's a little bit let's take a look at it so here we go, um, again, six inches is about 14,000 gallons per inch hit this swell. And uh, so that's what, 96,000 gallons, almost 100,000 gallons of water hit this swell in the last five days. You wanna see what's in it? And remember, I've only got about 11, 12 inches of soil here before I'm on top of that rock. And you might think this is disappointing. I guess from a standpoint of a guy that likes to make YouTube videos of uh, full swells, you can see this one spot here. We've got like a little uh, natural dam formed in the swell. So even though we are in contour, we'll hold a little more water here. But even here, you know, and this is this, this part of the swell is probably still getting water into it right now. We probably have water creeping across the ground here because it rained this morning and there's still water coming off of that roof and we've designed this to pick up all of that. You'll probably see some coming off the front side. I hear it coming off the back side. I'll probably actually be able to show you some coming off in a second. So that's it. Like I said, you might feel like it's a little disappointing. Now this locust barely holding on. You see even these locusts are just, they're just miserable this year. Toughest trees I've ever grown. Yeah, see we, we still have water. It, it stopped raining. Oh, I don't know, half an hour ago. And we're still getting water off. And that's 
that's seeping in and that's why this is holding a little longer which means that water is actually even with six inches of rain it's still seeping in it's still going into the earth and that's the good part usually when you get this much rain and it's been so long without rain you get to a point where the water just goes away because it can't get into the earth fast enough and what happened here is since we've been infiltrating water for so long into it we'll come around the other side now this is my diversion drain this part of the swell from here up is off contour and it angles in this way and there's a sill in the center and this acts as my secondary emergency spillway over the edge on this swale. Uh, that way the neighbors don't get whacked. It, we didn't do it intentionally. We adjusted to it because this rock formation here wouldn't let us get as deep as the rest of the swale. Anyway, um, all that water went in. It went into those fractures in the rocks these trees have been making for five years. It went into the dark, uh, the, the dry soils that normally are so hydroscopic at this, or hydrophobic at this point, that they can't accept water anymore. You can see even with the drought, just a little irrigation that we've done here in the interim, how this spot looks. And you can see we didn't heavily irrigate, that, that, that fig right there is barely holding on. That locust tree. Missing half of its foliage. The more established the tree is, though, the better it did. Look at that apricot, even through this drought. This is what swales do. They're not magic. Honest to God, if we had not had rain now, if we waited much longer, we would have had a lot more losses. Let's see how these peaches are. See, these are rock hard. They should have been ready weeks ago this tree's been holding them i've been letting it to see if it'll do anything for me but basically we've had a pretty bad year because even the trees that have fruit if they're a late setting tree this is a late peach um this one actually i let them have let the fruit on it because it actually attained some size most of it didn't get any size to it because it's just no moisture so the trees don't have energy to put it to make them fruit there's my chinga pin Planted a dozen of them. Found one mighty one. Need to get some uh, chingapin seeds from the Chingapin Foundation. See if we can find two or three more that will adapt to this climate. Maybe do some good work producing some seed for some other folks. There's Dana Cat. Hanging out. Come to the bottom swell. It's almost nothing. One little puddle. And I'll tell you why. This swale doesn't have much catchment. It only has the catchment and it's all soft. Unlike the other two, this swale has no hard catchment at all. Unless this swale overflows and, and runs out this sill into here. That's, that's where this uh, swale ends up being completely full is when the middle swale can't um, take anymore. That's the only time this swell ends up full. And it's the only time this swell ends up with significant water in it. It's worth doing because when that happens, boy, we want to take that last bit and hold it. But we didn't get an overflowing sill. This swell, when conditions are normal, even a little bit dry, this swell will fill with two inches of rainfall. If it's been wet already, this swell will generally fill with an inch to an inch and a half of rainfall. When we first put in, it would completely full with three quarters because we hadn't infiltrated anything yet. Now six inches. Everything's quiet. Everything's peaceful. And I'll tell you what, guys. I look at a forecast. Highest temperature forecast for the rest of the month of August. It ends like 29th. It's as far out as it goes. But that's pretty close to the end. 96 degrees. Rain forecast next Monday and Tuesday over 60 percent i'm pretty happy dana looks happy too you having fun girl we're coming out of the uh the summer we'll be turning the corner in the fall before we know it it's time to start making some mead 
Do have some autumn olives that toughed it out. I got some fruit in the freezer from earlier in the season. So Danny, you and I got mead to make this week, so we're ready for the people when they come in November. But it's amazing how things change as you get older. There were so many things, oh, Mr. Max is joining us. There's so many things that I really wanted when I was a kid, even a young man. Today, rain. Rain makes me grateful. There's not a lot more coming today, Danny. I think this is about it, so you can go out bird hunting. I'm sure they'll be out after this. But now, this is about as good as it gets. We'll catch up with you later. Plant trees, and if the situation's right, put swales in. Remember, my advocation for swales is in the right place in a landscape for the right design elements. These swales are in the right place. These are, this is a, a, a design that was well thought out. Yeah, I have another two and a quarter acres of property. There's not a single swale on it because it's not right for it. I, uh, I, I need to start saying that more, I think, that not everything should be swelled. But when they're the right thing, this is what they can do. Worst route this area has ever seen. And uh, we're grateful the rain came when it did, but it's the swales that got us here. Signing off.